our script up? Yeah. Okay, perfect. Guys, there's a box out there. What, what do you mean, box? Guys, it's literally just a box. Come on. Guys, I think we should just open the box. Open it. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Let's do it. Yeah. Guys, I'm gonna open. Yeah. You guys feeling different? No. No. Oh, no. Okay. no. I don't feel like different either. It's probably good. It's kind of like get this box out of the room. In the meantime, though, we got an episode to make. Come on, wizards, let's do this. <laughs> Oh, right. This is BGTV. This week on BGTV, Nick will introduce us to one of the district's most valuable teachers. Margo had the opportunity to learn about one of the English department's most interesting classes. Marquis speaks about the importance of rec basketball in our community. And finally, we will get the chance to see what Nick has in store for us for the first installment of Negotiating with Nick. Hey, Wizards! I'm Aspen. And I'm Kate. And you're watching BGTV. Ken has been a beloved physical education teacher at Taft Elementary School for some time now. She has shown a tremendous amount of dedication to her job and students. This week, Nick will explore just how important she is to her school and her students. alarm clock goes off at about 4.50 in the morning and I uh, go down to my basement and I, I work out. So that gets me going. Um, I do some mindfulness um, meditations and tapping techniques and um, that gets me ready for the day. So I feel like it's part of my job. Um, you know, I'm telling these kids that they should move to be healthy and active and, and I feel like I should be doing it too. Uh, the, the hard part, I think, is the repeating a lot of the same stuff class after class after class, but the kids come in and they, they make it, they make it for me, so. Yeah, I didn't even want to really, I didn't say I wanted to be a phys ed teacher. I, I uh, went to Kenesha's College and my, I met with my advisor and I went there for athletic training, like I wanted to major in athletic training. And he suggested getting my PE degree, and um, I'm like, okay. So uh, I did that, and here I am. <laughs> Guess it's stuck. Yeah, yeah, for sure. Back in 2005, um, one of the things that my colleagues did for me was um, I was running the uh, New York City Marathon, and uh, they, the art teacher at the time, Miss Gaiman, had the students make signs for me, and. Uh, the Friday before I ran in the, the marathon, the kids lined the hallways and just chanted and held up their signs and it was like, it was like unbelievable, I'll never forget that. You know, the future for me is focus on the now, you know, the present day and then, I mean, in my, I, I guess near future, it, it's retirement, <laughs> so I'm not that far off. So I mean, am I looking forward to that a little bit, but I, I'm still trying to take you know, each day and, and live in the moment. Mm -hmm. Stretch, and it was just like, as soon as you get off the 59th Street Bridge, it's like, you hit First Avenue, I think it's First Ave, and that's, if you ever run the New York City Marathon, that's where like the people like pick you up. And everybody's cheering for you, there's thousands of people. And um, so I like, that kind of helped me, but then there was a point when I was running, I flew through Harlem, and it was like, there was like a lull, and in my head I hear, go Miss Hen. Go Miss Hen and like just the kids chanting in my head and, and it got me through because like after that was like Central Park and the finish so it was, it was crazy. Five hours and 15 minutes. <laughs> I love that so many teachers are so dedicated to our schools. Next we have our first installment of Game Time with Janae. Hey Wizards, welcome to Game Time with Janae. <laughs> Basketball team 
played away against Monticello and sadly lost 66 to 57. On the brighter side, they played again last week against Cornwall home on Thursday, February 1st, and won 51 to 40 and secured a home game spot for playoffs. The girls' varsity basketball team played against Cornwall on Friday, February 2nd, home, but sadly lost 40 to 53. The varsity boys swimming and diving team had counties on Friday, February 2nd, versus multiple schools and came second place. The boys varsity wrestling team had a match against Monroe on Wednesday, January 31st and lost in a close match of 31 to 33. Now this week, I had the pleasure of interviewing some of our very own girls varsity indoor track and field participants. I've been running for the track and field team for going on two years now. I actually joined so I can stay in shape for soccer and I never went back to the soccer team. So. <laughs> So for indoor track, I did the 1500 meter race walk and I wanted to do it because it just sounded fun and my friend did it and then I just continued doing it again this year. As captain of the track and field team, I think what's so amazing about having different types of people on the team is that it's always just like one big party with your friends. Um, there's a distance crew and then there's a thrower's crew and then there's a sprinter's crew and there's so many different people on the team that it just brings us together as one big family and I think that's really beautiful to see as a captain. Because it's such a large group, it's like easier to have um, like more connections in between like friends, and it's easier to get like your friends into the sport because it's like so accepting and so welcoming. Some advice I would want to give people who are thinking about joining the track and field team is to definitely remain persistent. It's one of those sports where it's really mental and it's not like a sport where you're chasing a ball, all you're doing is running. So stay persistent, it's going to be hard at first, but I definitely think persistence is key to succeeding in track and field and have fun. Coming up in Wizard Sports. The boys varsity basketball team plays Friday, February 9th, home against Valley Central at 6 o'clock. The boys swimming has a section meet versus multiple schools on Thursday, February 15th, away at 4.30. Congrats to all swimmers and divers who will be participating in this sectional meet. The girls varsity basketball team plays Monday, February 12th, against Monticello, away at 6.30. The boys varsity wrestling has sections on Friday, February 9th versus multiple schools away at 4.30. Good luck to all wrestlers in all upcoming matches. This upcoming Saturday, boys and girls indoor track and field has a meet at West Point. That's all Wizards and this has been Game Time with Janae. One of the best things about Washingtonville High School is the fact that it has a variety of classes and electives for seniors to choose from. One of the classes that students are enjoying this year is Evolution of the Hero a class dedicated to teaching about the concept of heroes and how they have changed throughout history. This next segment explores what this course is all about as it is guided by an amazing teacher, Mr. Anastasi. Imagination, creativity, nostalgia. The hero would be collaborative, exciting, and engaging. Um, lots of fun. That's how I would describe this class. Two units into the course now, we've done a um, classical hero unit, which really centers around mythology, and we've also done a fairy tale unit, which kind of centers around comparing our fairy tale heroes to our Disney heroes. Loved doing the Trojan War with my group this year. Uh, kind of, they were really into exploring those heroes that the the Greeks and the Trojans created to kind of see like how flawed they were and all of their downfalls, um, and kind of comparing the movie and to the actual story that was written by Homer was a lot of fun for us there. Well, we just finished the fairy tale unit where we worked on writing our own fairy tales, which was really fun. Tell Disney unit's not going to be my favorite, but I think it's going to be necessary. And then as the fairy tale Disney unit went on, I decided that at the very end of the unit, I wanted my kids to kind of take what they've learned and story tell themselves. And we wanted to kind of bring back a little nostalgia by kind of doing a handcrafted fairy tale. So not just typing it up, but actually 
printing it onto some fancy paper, really making it like a storybook kind of feel. Kind of core philosophies of our course is the evolution of the heroes also, um, the evolution of how our hero stories have been told over time. Um, when we talk about some of our myths, they're not necessarily written in a story format. They're almost written kind of like, um, kind of like being told at you. Um, we actually went through the class and all had a discussion about our different definitions of a hero. So it was super fun seeing how everybody had a different opinion on it. Personally, I think a hero is someone who uses their abilities to serve the greater good. And now for this week's announcement. Looking for a job? The job board in the guidance office has recently been updated with some new opportunities for employment. Make sure to stop by to see what's new. Students who are looking to get working papers should visit the high school website under guidance to print and fill out the application form and physical form then turn them in at the guidance office. Physicals will be available for all sports for 9th and 11th graders. Make sure to check when your physical expires, and if you need one, sign up in the health office. PT Boutique will now be open Friday during lunch. Please go to the front desk for a pass. They will also be open on Fridays after school. Stay tuned for a quick commercial break. making some sort of cheesy cake. It came to me in a dream. You know that exists, right? It's called Cheesecake? Cheesecake? I mean, that's a good name for it, but I'm pretty sure it doesn't exist. It, it does exist in town. Guilty pleasures. Come down to Guilty Pleasures Cheesecake right next to F&J's where you can buy some delicious pastries and satisfy your guilty pleasures. What's going on, Wizards? During December through March, the Bloomingo Recreation Department hosts recreational basketball that anyone from first grade all the way to 10th grade can participate in. This week, I got the inside look at the oldest division with 10th, 11th, and 12th graders and talked to people involved with the rec basketball program. Rec basketball had started, um, John Spear, 
who is a legend and has been around this community. He's passed now. But when I first started, John Spear was running the league. This is actually his property that the gym was built on. His wife still lives behind here. So he had a love of basketball. I've been league director for since my son was in kindergarten, so it's about 12 years. And it's phenomenal to watch them grow from the time they're in kindergarten until now. And the greatest thing about rec is it's fun. I make sure it's fun. People can't get too serious. You know, school sports are serious, travel serious. Rec is supposed to be fun. I'm Douglas. Uh, I'm on the, what's it called? All KC Thunder. You know, former champs of last year. What can I say? We're elite like that. No one really cares until the fourth quarter and then everyone wants to win. <laughs> and then we all start talking a lot of, a lot of, a lot of junk. <laughs> I'm Brady Fitzgerald and I'm on the Magic. Um, what I mo like most about rec is it's just kind of relaxed. It's not as intense as regular basketball. You can go out, have fun, hang out with your friends. It's, it's more laid back, it's more chill. I mean, everyone seems to have a lot of fun. Uh, everyone seems to be really competitive when it comes to like this and the score and they'll talk a lot afterwards and at school so yeah I do think it helps bring the class together. Um, I help with rec basketball because I love to see, the, I love basketball first of all um, and I love to watch these kids play especially rec. Um, what I like most about helping is watching the kids and seeing their expressions and their faces and how they interact with each other and they have such a great time and it's a great outlet for them. Just coming here every Sunday night, hanging out with our friends and just having a good time. This is something that we're gonna remember for a while. Welcome to the first installment of Negotiating with Nick. Today, we're going to see how many people can change my mind. So we're here with who? Philip. Uh, first question is, milk before cereal or cereal before milk? Cereal before milk. Why? When you put the cereal first and then the milk, there's milk, I mean there's cereal inside of the milk. So the cereal is like soggy, but not super soggy to more. It's soft and you can chew it nicely and it tastes good. But people say it prevents it from getting soggy if you put the milk in first. Sometimes, some people like it soggy, not, not like extra soggy, but like to the point where it's like nicely chewable, like not like super crunchy. You like your cereal soggy? A tad bit. You like it soggy? Not soggy. Well, what's your favorite cereal? I don't eat cereal. All right, we're here with who? Sebastian Saunders. All right, Sebastian, so who, cereal before milk or milk before cereal? I eat my cereal plain because my father never came home with the milk. <laughs> oh, okay. All right, Spotify or Apple Music? Spotify. Why? Because the songs on there are just better, and if you have premium, you can skip as many as you want. You can do the same thing with Apple Music, though. Same thing. I don't have an iPhone. Oh, that's unfortunate for you, <laughs> Android user. You like your cereal soggy or no? I do not like my cereal soggy. Why not? Why not? It's just like not an enjoyable experience, and I just don't like milk. You don't like milk, so how do you eat cereal? Well, with milk, but I don't enjoy it. So what's your favorite cereal to eat if you don't enjoy it? Fruit Loops. You know who Taylor Swift is? No. You know who Taylor Swift is? No. Get that? That's Taylor Swift. You never seen her? Oh, no, I have. I you have. have. You have? You have? Here, we'll play Anti-Hero for you. You never heard of it? No. Never heard of it. Never? Are you going to get, like, copyrighted for this? No. no. <laughs> Did Travis Kelsey get put on the map by Taylor Swift? Mm. Apple Music or Spotify? No. Nah. None? You don't listen to music? I do listen to music. So, who, so what do you listen to music on? Oh, Spotify. Do so you like Spotify better? Yeah. Why? Because it helps me listen to music more. Why not Apple Music though? I don't know. Milk first or cereal first? Milk. Why milk? You're a milk. You like milk first? Because I like milk. Milk first though, but it, it gets uh, you don't get the right proportions in your cereal. <laughs> I just been sticking with Spotify because I pay for it. But Apple Music's the same price. Yeah, but Apple Music's just weird, different, bro. I don't like it. It's different. You like it? Why not? Because it's just weird, bro. I don't like it. You don't like it? Did, did Travis Kelsey get put on the map by Taylor Swift? Man. Travis Kelsey, Taylor Swift should break up right now. Why? Why? No one likes Taylor Swift. Her new album, Kanye's better. Kanye's better? I agree. Kanye is better. Kanye is better. Kanye's better. Yo, is anyone like Taylor Swift better than Kanye? Hold on, wait, 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 hold on. 
Kanye or Taylor Swift? Who are we thinking? Kanye or Taylor Swift? Neither. Neither? Why not? Why not? Listen to Drake. Go listen to Drake. Kanye or Taylor Swift? Neither. Why don't be kosher all the way? Kanye or Taylor Swift? Kanye or Taylor Swift? Kanye all the way. Why Kanye? Uh, 2024 president. You want to run for president? 2024? All right, Kanye or Taylor Swift? Not one, not two, not three, not four, but 12 more Grammys. Kanye West is the greatest musician of... You not even got the camera on me, bro. <laughs> Kanye is the greatest musician of all time. He's the GOAT. Nobody's close. Kanye or Taylor Swift, Mr. Dugan? Who? Kanye or Taylor Swift? Kanye. Why? I just think he's better. Why, why, why is he better? Because I like his music better. Name one song. I can't. <laughs> oh my gosh! In conclusion, in conclusion, Drake is the best rapper of all time. I can name a bunch of songs. Name one song by Drake. Nonstop. Name name two. Hold on, we're going home. Keep going. Name a whole playlist. Uh, from him. A whole playlist. Name a whole album. Name the entire Scorpion album from start to finish. Go. Don't that's that's a lot. We're with who? Stanek, what's up? Kanye or, or Taylor Swift? I all do I respect um, Taylor Swift and respectfully I don't really care about Kanye, but I'm just gonna say Kanye's better. So you don't like Kanye or you do? At this, nah, he has, he has done and said a lot of out of pocket stuff. But what has he said? That's out of pocket to you. All right, if I say it's gonna be racially, you, you, you can't say it on on, the, on camera. Nah. All right, we'll, this racially we'll talk racially after the episode. Over. Yeah. We'll talk after the episode, okay? All right, but in conclusion, I'm gonna just say that. This has been negotiating with Nick for episode one. Tune in next week for episode two. Yeah, yeah. That's all for this week, Wizards. Be sure to check out the Wizard Weekly and our student podcast, which are linked below. We hope to catch you next week. This is Aspen. And this is Kate. And this has been BGTD. Yo, 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 20, uh, 2016, yo, 2020, my birth, my birth. That's Kate in them? That's Kate in them? A-L-E-X. That was me spelling out my name. <laughs> that was Lincoln's last name. Oh. You could have put the whole thing on there. Oh. Bring with John Cosby, the 10th grader, here, sophomore at Washington High School. So tell us about Kanye West. What are you thinking? Kanye West, all the way. Why, why? Music on point. Name one song. What do you mean, Box? Where am I looking? I'm looking. Yeah, you, you two are looking. Yeah, just looking like he just came through where he is. Oh, oh, that's, that's at him.